Yeah, love requires imagination. We need it for black love more than any other kind of love. Our love requires creative interpretation. It most often doesn't look like the love we've seen on TV. It's like, you know, when the lunch lady would give you that extra roll, you ask for an extra roll, and she say, okay, here. Don't ask me nothing for nothing else, but she still give it to you, right? She say, don't ask me tomorrow. And then you ask tomorrow, and she give it to you again with the same stuff, right? That's love, right? We have a little bit more of a create. We say, I see you. That's love. That's the whole sentence, right? <laughs> Oppressive people and systems target our imagination to interpret that love by fighting to invade and control our culture through our safe, creative, and community spaces where we nurture our love for one another. They know the real revolution is not a physical one. That's why there is no revolution without art. There's no revolution without imagination, and there's no revolution without black love. And as artists, as artists, creatives, creators, we have a duty to create environments that encourage that type of imagination, that inspires us to build better, more liberated, and healthy world. We still have a lot of fighting to do, but we can be a lot less exhausted with it if everyone does their part. I'm gonna leave y'all with this. Let us all dedicate our work to fostering those healthy environments for our imagination to thrive and to practice healthy accountability in our family reunions, like this one, and see what impact we can have there first. We take care of us. That's what the future of black love looks like. Thank y'all for this award. Thank you, Tommy and Cody. Y'all know, y'all already know what it is. I appreciate y'all. And thank you, Jay, for all those kind words. You are amazing. We're going to keep building together. Bless y'all.